Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video series, we're recording our first MIDI song in Reaper. And this is part seven of that series. Okay, there's a few more sounds I want to add to the top of each section to make them pop and make them more interesting. So I want to do this a bit differently. Instead of going to our folder and dragging them in from here, I'm going to use another feature in Reaper called the Media Explorer. If we go to the View menu, right here is the Media Explorer. If we choose it, it puts a window down over here. Sometimes it'll create a separate window like this that's not docked, but I'm going to dock it by right clicking over here and putting it back in the dock down over here. So I'm going to go to that folder, which is right here, first MIDI song samples. And these are the same sounds that are in the folder here. But for certain things, it's easier to add them from right here. For instance, the first sound I want to add is the finger symbol right here. So we could just drag it in from here, or we could put our cursor where we want to drop it. I want to put this on the pre chorus right here, then go back to it and right click it, insert into project on a new track. And that creates a new track for it, puts it where the cursor is, and names the track finger symbol. So let's hear how it sounds on the top of our pre chorus. And let's put another one on the other pre chorus. Right over here, we'll put our cursor here, but this time we can just double click it. And that'll place it right in the timeline where the cursor was. It just creates a bigger entrance for that part of the song. Let's add a few more sounds. Right down over here, we have a noise sample. Let's put that on the beginning of verses. So we'll scroll over to our first verse, put our cursor here, right click on the sample, insert into project on new track. And again, makes a new track with the name based on the sample and the sound right on the timeline. Let's hear that. And let's put another one on the second verse. Right here. Just double click it and it places it right there. And then finally, let's put it on the top of our outro. Right over here. Again, we'll double click it and it places it right there. Pretty cool. Let's add one more sound for the sections we haven't addressed. Start with the intro chorus. Right here. And I'm going to choose the splash symbol right here, which is kind of like a little crash symbol. We'll right click it, insert it to project on new track, and it puts it right here. Let's hear it in the track. Just adds a little attack on top of those sections. So let's put another one on the other choruses. Chorus one is here, double click it. And then finally, on chorus two, double click it. Now we can close the Media Explorer, because I don't think we need it anymore.
Now let's give all three tracks their own color. Go with something like this. Now all the tracks have colors and all the parts are pretty much done. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to render this to a final mix as a stereo file that we can share with others. So let's do that in the next video. Thank you.